The solar eclipse is in just a few days here along the coast. Solar eclipse is on Monday. You need to be able to view it safely. If you don't have those eclipse glasses, I'm going to show you how to build one of these solar eclipse pinhole viewers. So what you're going to need, you'll need a cereal box, aluminum foil, a pair of scissors, tape, a piece of paper, and just a pencil to be able to trace out that piece of paper. So first thing that we're actually going to do is we're actually going to cut off the sides of the cereal box. So we're going to do that right now. Yeah, so this solar eclipse that we're experiencing on Monday is the first one here on Delmarva. The first one that's eclipsed more than 50% of the sun since the solar eclipse back in the summer of 2017. It's a pretty rare experience to experience one. Our next total solar eclipse, well, it's a long time away. It's not until 2079. So we just have to be happy with these partial solar eclipses. So we're building the pinhole viewer today. It's really just going to allow that light into the box and kind of just simulate a sun on a piece of paper at the bottom of the box. So there we go where you've got the top of the box cut off. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take our tape, just tape the center portion together. I'm going to take a second here to tape that portion. So I actually messed up just a little bit here. I taped this a little too soon. We actually have to put a piece of paper in the bottom of this box. So let me just reopen this box real, really quick. It's a DIY project, sometimes that happens. What you need to do is actually stick this cereal box on the bottom here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna actually trace on this piece of paper. It can't be the brown bottom of the cereal box. It has to be a white bottom that actually is gonna show that sunlight on it. So we're gonna cut it out with our scissors and we're gonna have to tape it onto the bottom. So here we go, cut this out. So yeah, it's a pretty incredible sight. This solar eclipse is actually gonna be able to be seen pretty much all across the United States. Here on Delmarva though, as I said, it's only about 85 to 90% eclipse. Still a pretty surreal experience. There's that piece of paper. It's gonna fit right into the bottom of the box. We just have to put some tape on it so it actually stays still, actually stays, remains in the bottom. So we're just gonna fold this over, make sure there's pieces of tape. So here we go. Now, what we're doing is taking this piece of paper, putting it down all the way on the bottom of the box. So that's the area where the sunlight is going to reflect off of it. Now we're going to tape the top of the box where that center section is and make sure that we have that opening there. So there we go. We got the opening. We have the paper in the bottom of the box. And now what we need is that aluminum foil. I've already cut out a piece of the aluminum foil. It just needs to be big enough to cover one side of this. We're gonna just tape it all over just to make sure it doesn't really get moved around too much. Now we've got the aluminum foil on one side and now the last step is pretty simple. You just need something sharp, uh, a, something with a point, poke the hole, pull the hole into it. So now that hole is where the sunlight is gonna be shining through. So what we're gonna actually do is we're gonna pull out my phone here and we're gonna shine, shine that light in it. So if you can see from there, you actually be able to watch that solar eclipse because as the sun is becoming more eclipsed, that circle will become darker and darker and you'll get that little sunlight on the bottom. It's a perfect way to view the solar eclipse if you don't happen to have those glasses or other protective wear because you can't look at the sunlight directly. You need to make sure you have a safe way to view it. So enjoy the solar eclipse on Monday.